Well, Patrick won! Man, <laughs> I, I don't know. Man you're just sick and you're in college and you're getting $20,000 on the internet for the neatest pair of gloves I've ever seen. I go running every day and I have these big gloves and I, I listen to my Chinese, I'm trying to uh, uh, study Mandarin, and my little Chinese app, I take my gloves off my thing and I cut my, <laughs> the top of my gloves off to use it. And you solved that problem by inventing, I guess, these gloves for people, right? That's right. That's right, Matt. <laughs> and, and, and what is it? I mean, and they're sexy looking. I mean, they're stylish gloves. They're not some jockey looking clunky things, right? These are fashion items that you wear, these beautiful leather, leather gloves uh, that will, any touch screen will work. And you don't have to take them off in the winter. And that's very important for you guys in Toronto, huh? <laughs> Especially. I don't mean to perpetuate any stereotypes around Canada, but uh, from Halloween onwards, it's just uh, frozen waste plants. So, uh, yeah, we've uh, come up with this line of gloves. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Touchpoint Leather Glove. Um, and part of the glove works on the touch screen, and you can use it throughout the winter for wow. testing. So oh, any right. part of the glove, so even if I put my heel of my hand on it or anything, huh, that'll still course, work. Yeah. I mean, I've seen these gloves, you know, like have little magnetic tips or something, nonsense. I don't know what that is, but so you solve that whole problem. Wow. So, Hannah, I mean, you're a business student, right? That's right. Yeah. Right. 20 years old, I guess, 19, 80, something like that. Second year of college, <laughs> business school, yeah. and you go on the Internet. Now, I guess it... And now you're, you know, raised twenty thousand dollars. You hope for only two thousand five hundred. You're not telling your professors how wrong you were, really, are you? <laughs> your goal was only twenty five hundred, and you may get twenty thousand. <laughs> so you screwed up, didn't you? <laughs> Somewhere along the line, yeah. I to carry the boy, boy, <laughs> you better get better professors. Tell you how to do this better. <laughs> But it's just wonderful, and they're really fashionable items, and and I think the neatest thing about them is that, God, they're half price now because when they, I mean you you're in production, so you're going to have a big business right after this is over, you know, in another week or two. So people who go now and get this are going to get them like a fifty percent discount, aren't they? Yeah. That's right. And you're going to yeah. deliver for Christmas, huh? Yeah. yeah the, the the thing that we love about selling online and through crowdfunding platforms is that uh, there are no retailers involved. Uh -huh. um, we really managed to cut out a lot of uh, what hikes up the price uh, mm -hmm. at normal retail. So we can offer them uh, at $65 uh, wow. where they would normally be 100 120 Yeah. No, I mean, uh, so I, I see them. We're excited about it. We're I see the Macy's and stuff like that now. And, oh, you know, that, that's a little yeah. tough on a glove. And... and but here, with that technology stuff, I mean, and that in, increases the value and price and everything. So it, it's a heck of a deal. And what a gift. You know, everybody's using one of these things. So if you get a, yeah, and it doesn't look like a touchscreen glove. That's what's so neat about it. You know, one, not right. those, do you have one there you could show people? Yeah. I, uh, I'll apply this here. So this is, uh, you know, I, we'll, we'll bring it up. It's, <laughs> It's, uh, it's one of our models. Um, it's called the Rare Glove. It's a uh, very basic, you know, uh -huh. very, very simple sort of Yeah, but it's elegant uh, simple. It's not stupid simple, yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so I have my iPhone here. Uh -huh. um, and, and so what, what it really allows me to do, uh, it's cold, I'm outside, um, but I need to send that message. Right. Or I need to make the call. <laughs> you know, um, where... And so, uh, yeah, ah, to, uh, to just there. like that. Wow. There's, there's, wow. There's, so, wow. Know, it's, yeah. it, it's exciting stuff because, yeah. um, it's just something, it's something we needed. Um, it's something yeah. our friends needed, right. and, but we thought not, right? So you're really, you know, a college entrepreneur, you know, and, and making more money than most people I know who just starting a business who have 20 years on you, maybe. <laughs> And that's what they now. But you started out. Your partners, you and your partners, started doing what together? Well, uh, yeah, we, you know, we we kind of started uh, as just just the kids. Uh, right? <laughs> but we, doing we what? Weren't you dancers or <laughs> together? That's right. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> we, uh, we we 
we had an idea for uh, some fashion accessories. Uh, we thought that we were kind of fashionable guys who could do this, uh, but we didn't have any money uh, uh, to start the business. Um, we didn't really want to take out a loan. We didn't want to ask our, our parents. Um, and so uh, we started as, a, you know, break dancers. Um, uh, I mean, that's how you finance your first product? <laughs> And so, yeah, the, the first, the very first product we had, uh, we went out uh, to Yen Dundas Square, which is uh, like the h most highly trafficked area uh -huh. in uh, Toronto, um, and just started dancing on the street for change. <laughs> <laughs> so it was, uh, you know, the, for the first time we went out, I think I think we made a, a total of like thirty dollars. Wow, well, is uh, that a bad evening or whatever it is? <laughs> you know, but, but, for, mean, but for three hours of street dancing, it's, uh, it's horrible, right? Uh, <laughs> we, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't make three thirty dollars three hours, you know, make a latte somewhere. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so you know, but. As with anything, right, we were talking over time, uh, um, we learned how to uh, uh, attract an audience, uh, uh, how to interact with people on the street. Do you want to see the show? Uh, it's going to be amazing. Come on down. We learned, uh, it was the little we had, we bought, uh, you know, bigger speakers. Uh, uh, we bought some flooring so that we didn't need to dance on the concrete. Uh, wow. And uh, the operation expanded to the point where we were, you know, we, we had a microphone and we were just wow. you know, we used, <laughs> a mini, uh, you know, mini circus. Um, and so you went up to what in three hours? I mean, what? what? Uh, we, we went up to uh, um, like three to four hundred dollars for three wow, hours. Wow, from 30 bucks to 400, uh, 300, 400 dollars an hour, right? right. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, so. And that financed your first business. So you, without a bank, without your parents' money, without <laughs> anything, you just lose, used whatever talent you had to get yeah. this thing going, didn't you? That's, that's really wow. what it's about, is everyone has yeah. something, yeah. Uh, even if you don't yeah. know it yet. Uh, something that can be cultivated and turned wow. into something yeah. uh, of value for other people. And that's really the, the legacy and the that you'll leave in the world. Yeah. Um, so now you're so, gonna, you don't see a major career in break dancing, but you're going into fashion accessories. <laughs> but it's better than delivering pizzas, right? To make your money, yeah. to do what you wanna do, right? So you, you had this, and if you can make 400 bucks in an hour, man, <laughs> that's a nice fallback position. <laughs> now, now, right, there's always that. <laughs> now, I'm wondering if in your business classes, do, you, do they use you as an example for entrepreneuring? Uh, you know, as... Uh... Uh, I, I have been more, more and more recently uh, called out to uh, uh, to talk um, at, a, at my school. I um, see. Well, that's great. Just uh, in regards to this, it's not the only way to do it. Uh, you know, oh, it absolutely. Was pretty, right. It was wild, but um, it's a, I guess it serves as an example of yeah. um, how, how to how to turn your your passion into, mm -hmm. into something. But it's not only great. maybe not the only way to do it, but it can be done so you're sitting there you start it with the same problem we all have you have no money you have an idea and you don't know how to get it done so you you were resourceful enough to found that dancing got your little money kickstarter got your big money <laughs> and none of those meant meant a big investment on your side you know right yeah right, right. so you didn't have to get money from some fat cat who was going to make you hire their girlfriend or something like that or <laughs> 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 and you did it. But more importantly now, you know, consumers for Christmas should get these gloves because they're not going to get a deal like this anywhere else in the stores. And when you come out and full, fully get these in production and they're being retail stores, they're going to be double the price. So now is the time to cash in on you, right? And it's uh, Aaron Attire, A-E-O-N attire a t t i r e i flunked english in college <laughs> dot com and you can get your size and you show what what you taught me so much looking at your site you found out you taught me how to measure my glove size i never knew that you just take a little tape around here and you read the number <laughs> yeah yeah exactly it was simpler than i thought so i had no idea yeah, um. did I. <laughs> <laughs> and i've been a men's fashion as, as a kid for many years too well you're a delight patrick thank you for doing this thank you for sharing your experience and motivation and enthusiasm with everybody else because we we all could do that take what we have and 
just use it to the most we possibly can, right? <laughs> okay, AaronAttire.com. Thank you so.